hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to use alternative solution and we will detect occupied and free space of parking lot or we can say parking area so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we will use yolo 11 ultralytic solution and then we will simply detect occupied and free space of our parking area so for that first just open thony python id then go to the tools open system shell this is what our system shell i will run the command cls hit enter it will clear our shell then pip space install space opencv hyphen python pip space install space opencv hyphen python hit enter it will install opencv on our windows 11 machine this is windows 11 machine simple clear, uh, again clear the screen so cls pip space install space ultralytics ultralytics pip space install space ultralytics and it will install ultralytics on our windows 11 machine so i have already done with package installation opencv hyphen python and ultralytics this is the packages which we need done so we have done with package installation so just close the system shell and for today's session i have created new repository i will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside web browser then go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository as you can see we have successfully downloaded our repository just open file manager downloads repository right click new sorry not new right click we want to extract so right click and then extract all extract and this is what our repository yolo 11 parking lot main again we have same folder so first we need our video file so vid.txt it is just a text file inside that i have mentioned our mega cloud link so open browser new tab control plus v hit enter and then it will open our mega cloud uh, video file link this is basically zip folder and inside that folder we have our uh, parking area video cctv video file done so click on download and it will download our zip folder so we successfully download our video folder let's just close the mega cloud link minimize all these things close text file and then go to the downloads this is what our uh, zip folder parking space dot zip right click just cut and move the folder inside our yolo 11 parking lot main folder just paste it right click click on extract all extract it will extract our folder this is what our folder parking space open it this is video file just cut and go back and mention paste the video file where we have our all the python files so if i open parking one dot mp4 so this is what a cctv a time lapse video friends basically we have here parking area as you can see this is what our parking area and this is time lapse video so here it is as you can see uh, we have a uh, day and night all the video so so we can simply use here ultralytic solution and then we can simply detect occupied and free space so the concept is what let me show you here this is what our video so right now there is no car so we can say uh, there is an empty space but now here as you can see we have car and then we have empty space also so with the help of ultralytic yolo 11 of course we can use our by default pre-trained object detection model which detect the car so it will detect the car these cars and we will not go for this section so you can simply create here your own custom object detection model for better performance means if you create your own model it will detect a car a class perfectly simple so here i will use a by default pre-trained object detection model which is yolo 11 s or you can use simply yolo 11 n also as i mentioned you can create your own custom model also so what is the concept so with the help of uh, alternative solution first we need image because this is what our scenario so we need this scenario image so we will capture the image from our video file simple and then we have alternative solution 
a tkinter software so inside that tkinter software we will upload the image of our scenario of our uh, parking space area we can say and then with the help of mouse function mouse event move function we want to simply select the point so let's just say this is what my first point so i will simply move my mouse cursor over here and then you have to left click you have to left click of the mouse so just left click and it will draw a point so let's just say this is what my first point this is what my second point this is what my third point this is what my fourth point so when we complete a four point it will automatically convert all the four point in polyline simple so this is how we want to simply draw the polyline on each space on each area that's it so this is what our concept and then uh, we we mention the points so polyline is basically points so it will save all the points inside json file and that json file we will call in our main.py which is our main code where we have object detection so because we uh, we pass here our json file so it will automatically draw the area simple so this is what the concept now we have our area uh, with the help of yolo 11 we of course we we can detect our car vehicle class so we have object detection so when we detect our object means when we detect our car we have bounding box and with the help of bounding box we can simply get the center point of detected object bounding box means let's just say this is what my car so if there is a car simply we will use yolo 11 and it will detect the car so when we detect the car we have bounding box so if there is bounding box means there is x1 y1 x2 and y2 so with the help of x1 y1 x2 y2 we will get the cx and cy which is the center point of the bounding box simple so now we have the center point now we will use here cv2 dot point polygon test method cv2 dot point polygon test method so cv2 dot point polygon test method is basically used with the help of detected object center point means if the detected object center point if it is mentioned area then we can say there is a object means for point polygon test we need area so area is basically our point which is the polyline point which we mentioned so we have here points so if the points means this is what the area so if detected object rectangle center point if it is inside the area then we have their car if there is no center points means there is a free space so this is basically the concept simple this is basically full concept of the project now we will start our practical so first as i mentioned first we need image of our scenario so for image i have created img.py code so just open img.py and here we want to mention our video file link uh, link means uh, basically the name so parking1.mp4 is our video file name so parking parking one dot mp4 this is what our video file and as i mentioned we only want the first frame so here i have mentioned max frames is equal to one because we need only one image and then we want to mention here here we want to mention the folder where we want to save our file so of course we want to save our file inside our repository so open our repository yellow 11 parking lot main just go here here left click and it will show all the path just copy the path and mention it over here here from parking lot just go back just remove it done and then press ctrl plus v simple so because we copy the path and we want to simply paste the path over here so yolo 11 parking lot main this is what our folder and again we have same folder and we are going to save the image with the name of img.jpg img.jpg this is what our image name done now simply we will save the code and we will start the code it will capture the first frame which is our image so if i open our repository 
we have here image as you can see img 0.jpg so this is what my scenario image now this image we will pass inside our se.py code so again double click and it will open se.py so inside se.py we have parking pts selection this is basically the class so this class which are calling from our from our parking.py code so let me open here parking.py open parking.py so from this parking.py we will use our parking pts selection class so in se.py as you can see from parking so from parking is basically our file name so this file name is as you can see the parking.py so if we want to call any python file in other python file we want to simply mention that file name so what is the file name the file name is basically parking.py so if i want to call the code or we can say the class from this parking.py so i want to simply mention in se.py from parking so parking is basically my file name so from parking import we are going to import this class this class as you can see inside this parking.py we have two class so this is basically my first class which is parking pts selection so pts selection is basically point selection so for uh, drawing the points on our selected area we want to call the parking pts selection class inside our se.py simple so that's why i have mentioned the parking so from parking is basically the file name parking.py so from parking import we are going to import this class simple now let me close here parking.py and now we will run our se.py just run it And as I mentioned, this is what our Tkinter software. So inside this Tkinter software, we want to simply upload our image. So click on upload image and we have our image inside our repository img0.jpg. Open it and this is what our image. Simple. Now as I explained, we want to simply move our mouse where we want to start our polyline point. So this is what my first point. This is what my first point. So I, I simply move my mouse over here and just left click and then you will see there is a red color point so this is what my first point and then again here left click button mouse this is what my second point so now we have two point first second and this is what my third point again left click to the mouse just move it over here and then this is what my third point and again simply move your mouse here left click and then this is what my four point so as soon as we completed the four point it will draw the polyline it will connect all the points and then we have blue color polyline as you can see so this is what my area this is what my first area same way just move the mouse here first point second point third point four point we completed four point now we have second area second parking space area same way move your mouse cursor where you, you where you want to start the point so here first then here left click to the mouse button second third four completed we have area again move your mouse cursor here left click then again move here left click here left click here left click and then we completed four point so it basically draw a polyline automatically so same way i will draw the polyline on each parking space area so friends we done we have all the points now simply let's just say if i want to remove the point so this is what my last point if i click here it is as you can see we have option remove last b box so if i click remove last b box this is what my last point so this will basically delete now if i if if simply i want to delete this one also so again click on remove last box and again it will delete the last one box so so let me draw here again points so one two three four two three four one two three 
4 1 2 3 and 4 done now simply click on save and it will save our bounding box dot json file click on ok close it now if you open our repository download and this is what our repository and inside that we have our bounding boxes json file simple so now open main.py and inside that main.py we mention our bounding box json file as simple as and here i want to mention our video file name which is parking one dot mp4 and again same way from parking parking file we will call this time parking management so if i open our parking.py again so from this parking.py so here main.py from parking import parking management as i mentioned in this code we have two class we already use the parking pts selection class for drawing the points and if you scroll down we have we have here basically another class which is parking management class and inside that parking management class as i mentioned we have here uh, we have here basically cv2 dot point polygon test method as i mentioned so cv2 dot point polygon test method is basically work with the area and the detected object center point so if detected object center point if it is inside our area then of course we have object means we have car if there is no center point inside the area means there is no object simple this is what the whole concept now simply let me remove uh, parking.py let's let just close and just save main1.py main.py and if i run the code so first it will download yellow 11 s.pt as i mentioned you can create your own custom object deduction model you can use yellow 11 n.pt also so as you can see right now there is no car all the space available so we have available 12 and occupancy now 6 available 8 so this is as i mentioned this is time lapse video so let's just uh, uh, stop the frame we will skip the frame one by one so here i have mentioned 0 let's just save the code if i run the code so no vehicle available 12 occupancy 0 and i am now skipping the frame one by one using a space button now as you can see friends we have here one two three four five five cars so occupancy is five one two three four five five car is there so occupancy is five and available is seven so one two three four five six seven simple so now again now we have one two three four five six six occupancy and one two three four five six is six is available same way now uh, there is a night so again there is only uh, there is only we have here uh, one two three four four car four occupancy and available eight so as i mentioned again friends if if let's just say if the car is not detected simple you have to create your own custom object detection model but the method for mentioning the occupancy and available space the method will be same this is the way you can most easy way you can create a parking space detection solution simple so i have mentioned the full code i hope you will learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye